Okay, so it's saying on here, the guys that make the shims, that you can sand them down, or lap finish them down with 300 grit. So that's just your wet and dry sandpaper. So use glass on a flat surface, glass or a flat surface, right, and you rotate it 90 degrees every three times as you sand it down. And it's also in here many times you've got to just check it in the bike, all right. Saying, where was it? The shims can distort where the half ring sits, so you can't really measure this deviation when they wear out. So, the only real way is to put the shim in the bike and check it, and then, if need be, change the shim or do the uh, sand down to correct the size of the shim. Right, so we've got the shims out. So this was the, the very tight one at point one. Right, so the measurement was 9.242. And we want to get an extra 0.05 on here. So we've given it a rub with the paper and then another rub and then another rub and now we are at 9.187. Our target was 9. 0.192 so we're slightly under which should give us 0.15 here so we started with 240 grit 400 grit 600 grit we did that about three or four times and then the last one 1200 grit so yeah 240 400, 600, 1200. So this one was 1.3 on the gap. So we were set, took two sands to get it down. So we were targeting 9.275 to 72, and we were at 9.278. So I'd rather leave a little bit on. And try that first, but that should be about right. All right, so you need a nice solid bench. These are 70 newtons, but it seems to be a lot tighter than that. So I've got it all packed with aluminium around it so we don't scratch the can. And then I've ground down a, a socket to try and make it work this nut. See if we can get this off. Yep, so that cracked. It went with a bit of a bang when it broke. And it broke loose, I should say, uh, but yeah, she's undone, but the pulley's on there tight. And there's no damage or scratching to the cam, because we're using the aluminium, which is much softer. It's a nice cut. Got the nut off, and then these should just pull off. So you don't need to unbolt those and change the timing. <clears throat> That's all good. And then we can get the seal off. Seal's filling. Pretty loose on there. So this has a key. You've got a keyway here to hold the drive pulley on. That's where the seal runs, so that looks all good. The seal hasn't cut into the shaft. So we'll get the new seal. So to put the silica grease on the seal. Put it around the inside. 
inside. The old seal doesn't look too bad. Definitely feels a bit tighter. All right, let's get these a clean up and put them back on. Might just stick one drop of Loctite or something on this. Doesn't say to it, it actually says to put grease on these and do them up to 71 Newton meters. But it also says you should put new ones back on as well. So this is just a weak, low strength thread locker. So I'm just going to do like one drop. So this is set on 70 newton meters, 71 newton meters. Let's see, 65 to 75. Definitely harder than that to get off. So this area here, you need to put a little bit of silicon because it doesn't seal there. And this part sticks right out to the edge so it can actually leak between the two parts. So you just put a little bit of silicon on here before you fit your top cap on. So we'll put a little bit of oil in that in here. This is where the oil comes up. Gets pumped up through here, fills up in the cam, flows inside the cam and then drips out onto the valves and then drips out onto this area as well. So it's a little bit of silicon in the corners like that. So we're doing 22 newtons. So these are all nicely torqued down. We're supposed to do 10 and then 20 to 25 newtons is your final torque. And we'll just oiled up the cams, put some oil on the cam lobes. Just rubbed it in a bit so that's where they should sit when we do the timing put the cover on so I've just put a little bit of silicon in all the little corner pieces on the rubber and underneath the rubber so that should stay in place get all these bloody cables out of the way Check that the gasket didn't fall off in any of the spots. And I haven't got a torque wrench to go low enough for these. So I'll just have to guess it. So you don't have to do these up terribly tight because otherwise you're just going to squeeze the gasket out. I think it's only about six newtons. Oh, those ones feel like they're doing it on top of those studs. Yeah. Same with that one. So they're just tightening down on the top of the studs. 
So it can bounce back on. We're on our timing marks. So we've got our dot there, dot there. And we've got our dot down here. So the belt is back in place. Timing's on. Haven't done the tension properly. Just leave it a little bit on the loose side. And I'll let the silicone dry for 24 hours. So tomorrow when I get home, we'll, we'll spin the back wheel. Then we'll turn the engine over about 10 times and that should prime the cam camshafts up with uh, oil. The oil pump will pump it up there after at least 10 turns of the back wheel. And then we know the cams are all lubed and everything so it should be good.